Single tone cards make choosing colors so simple. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this card and convince you to just use one color family. That video is coming up next. So here's a look at the basic supplies I'm going to be using to make some simple holiday cards. Now, this is the Merry Trees set from Christina Warner, and there's a stencil set in here, and there are coordinating dies. I do have one video up using this set, which I'll be sure to pop up as a card in the corner. But what I want to do today is some basic stamping to get started, so let me grab my Misty. I'm going to pop my cardstock here into the Misty. I don't know why I have them flipping it right side up and upside down, but we're going to take the stamp set out because I am going to use my stamps today to make my trees. All right. And what I'm going to do here is, I guess I'll go down, I'm going to die cut it. So it doesn't really matter just yet how this all works, but I am going to stamp this and I'm going to make some purple some purple trees. Which, which, which way do I go? I never remember. Okay, there we go. I don't think I've used this stamp yet because the card I did before was with the stencil. So we're just going to stamp. And right now I'm just priming my stamp with my little eraser. And you can just use your fingers too. It's just the first time you're using the stamp. And I'm going to do some awesome fig. All right, so this is a nice warm purple. We're gonna ink this up really well and probably stamp it twice. I am kind of feeling the vibe of purpley Christmases this year. All right, so I'm just transferring using my little matchy matchy. Look, it's got ink spatter all over it. That's because, uh, well, ink spatter goes everywhere. Look at that color. That is gorgeous. I think I missed something on the bottom there, but we'll, we'll make it work. Or do I have a little, something's on my stamp. You know what, that's gonna be fine. I think it will still look really cute. And second coat. All right, like that. I don't know, I might have a little something's there. I think I have a tiny defect on my stamp. And that's fine, because you know what? It's gonna be beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna let this dry completely before I bring on some of these details for the trees. Actually, I wanna show you something. It doesn't always work, but if you ever have a little area where maybe your little stamp uh, just doesn't quite have photopolymer material, you can always just try to fill it in a little. You know, just take a little hard brush sort of tap it in. I mean, that's a little better already. I could even mask it off and go like this. Low tack tape of, oh, that's a little too close. Hold on. I don't want the base to be that big. I want it to be lined up right here. Like that. And now I can just tap, tap. And no one except you me and any other viewers who see this video will be the wiser. So I've let this dry for a little bit and now I am going to take the little details off of my sheet and I'm going to place them right here like that. So we're gonna get just a little bit of fun detail on these trees and I'm going to pick that up and what I'm going to need to do is powder up with anti-static powder okay before I stamp and that's just so that the powder and it, it's going to dull this down a little bit but it'll all come back nicely I'm going to get that on so that hopefully my powder is going to slip right off except for where I stamp my Versamark so let's do that get that on here Oh, I just put my whole pad on my upside down. Do a little press, pick it up. Oh, that's gonna be very cute. Just adding a little bite, like that. I'm gonna hold on to this 
with a clothespin and I'm just going to pop on some Brutus Monroe embossing powder in the white and hopefully it will just stick to, there we go, those trees. So, and what's great is even if I don't have it like perfectly lined up on the trees, it's going to be fine because it's white, right? So we're going to pour this back in like that. All right. Super simple, just a little white details, right? And I'm going to die cut this. I will tape this down. Oh, purple tape, how, how lucky is that? This is Easy C tape. It's the tape that I use that's normally pink, but I ran out of pink and all I have is purple. So let me run this through my die cut machine. All right, lifting this up and I'll use my magnet here just to lift the die up. And then we pop out our little tree stand. Oh, it makes them separate. Oh, I tore my, how did I tear that? Oh, that's so funny. Let me see, is it supposed to tear? Well, it tore on mine. Well, let's see, we're gonna still make it work, I think. Let me cut one more out here and uh, we'll see about gluing that on. Get you out. Oh yeah, I don't know what I had and why I had it set up, but this one's perfect. And so all I'm going to have to do is glue this one onto this guy and no one will be the wiser. Again, this is a no one will be the wiser video. Let me glue this on with my liquid glue and I'll be right back. I'm gonna take another piece of white cardstock here. I brought in my bigger Misty because I had a I had an idea. So here we have, I mean, that is just so pretty by itself. You don't need much and that's just it. But I decided I have also Christina's Merry Greetings Builder Stamps. And this is a really fun set that I've done nothing with yet. Ergo, the reason I wanted to pull this border out and have a larger stamp and then I'm just going to kind of use the grid on my Misty to help me get something kind of straight because I want to do this. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it'll come up great. I want to do this in the lilac. So I'll just take my lilac ink. It doesn't have to go all the way to the edge. And bring it down and transfer. And I may not stamp it twice. I might want to have it look sort of uh, just the one pass. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it looks. Because I think that's kind of cute. You know, it has that postage-y look. I mean, that that's just so fun. Isn't that cute? And it's such a nice light color. I am going to go to just because maybe I do want it to be a little more solid. So tapping this on and bring this down like that. It's still going to be nice and light when it dries back for my panel. All right, let me get this cleaned up. All right, now I'm getting another idea here. <laughs> things things happen sometimes when you're card making, and I have this piece of cardstock. It's kind of bent, so I'm going to use, it's all mucked up at the bottom. I don't know what I did with it, but I'm actually, I'm actually going to go with a really minimal greeting and just do think let me see because there is a die in here look at these cute little dies that go with this they're little banner dies and so you have one that has this whole notchy notch thing and it could even look really cute just to do from my home to yours oh I think that's really cute I'm just keeping it simple Get it nicely in the center and I'm just going to stamp this in a purple ink you know, sometimes just keeping something really simple can be so effective, I guess is the word I'm looking for, and that I really wanted these to be simple cards that were not hard to recreate, right? So I'm gonna prime that up a little, take the fig and tap that on and just drop it. I don't wanna smush this. Look at that, that looks great. 
and actually I could do it one more time. Drop it, not even, not even really smushing it like that. And then we can take this die and we'll cut that out. I just had an afterthought. This is pretty by itself, but I just, <laughs> this is the card that just, the simple card that just keeps getting more complicated. All right, let's imagine, if you will, that this foam square is not stuck to me. All right, we're going like this and we're envisioning that's gonna be there. I've got foam squares on here. I am going to stamp Merry Christmas up top, but I'm going to do it in such a way that it dips down behind the trees. Now, if I don't love this, if I don't love it, I don't have to keep it. You know what I'm saying? Let me just put this in a position, you know, right about there. Then the trees are gonna sit on top but you're gonna be able to read Merry Christmas, right? It's It reads well enough. So we're gonna do this in the lilac. Get a nice coating like that. Bring this down, transfer. And I'll do this twice so this has the same matchy matchy look to, come here, the striped band. And again, this will smooth out and look lovely. Then this whole panel has got to go onto a note card. I could have done all of this right onto the card base, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't really thinking ahead. So we'll let this dry a little bit, smooth out. And then these pieces are going to go on top. And you can see, you can totally make out Merry Christmas. And then if I decided too that I wanted this to come down a little lower, I could. So this could be grounded right there. Isn't that cute? Okay, moving on. Because this cardstock is so heavy base weight, 110 pound, I am going to make a note card that's 80 pound. That way I don't have so much cardstock weight. You know what I mean? This is 80 and that will be, normally I use the 110 or some form of a 100 pound for my note cards. But this, we're gonna score this right at four and a quarter on the 80 pound. And actually, I should have used my other scoring tool because I like that I can easily line these things up in the corner, but this one isn't as tall as my score buddy. Well, let me grab that. You can do this with a misty as well, or if you have another stamp positioner, but what's so nice about it is that this has a higher lip so that this can go right on top and line up really easily. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of tape runner on here. I hope I don't run. <laughs> Take the lid off, there we go, that way. We go right to the edge, we can adhere that panel, like that, and go there, make sure the top is in the top where it's supposed to be, and hold that down, and line that up. All right, I'm gonna press that too, because I grabbed, I don't know what I did with these panels of cardstock, but I cut some and they all had a tweak in them. All right, I'm gonna use my paper trimmer and just take a little bit of that edge off so that it's perfectly lined up. And now we can place this down. So a few things have gone wrong today. See, I am gonna bring this down further. Isn't that cute? Because you still can totally get the vibe that it says Merry Christmas. I think that's very graphic and fun. I put foam squares on the back here. Oh, it looks like I'm missing one. Hold on here. Gotta give love to all of them. There we go. And this, these are thin foam squares, so they are not gonna be as popped up, but popped up enough. And this is just a very monochromatic, simple card. Now, I wish I would've had the plan in mind, but you know, a lot of times I may have some products pulled and I may have an idea, but I rarely make cards before I actually <laughs> press the film button, you know? Oh, there we go, we're sticking all over. Uh, so sometimes things change, and this is an example of that happening. All right, I'm going to use my liquid glue, and let's see, is that long enough? Yes, it is. And my uh, 
ruler because I want to have a little liquid glue on each little foam square. This is just so there's a little bit more float time before they stick permanently because foam squares, they stick like a mother. And I'm going to grab this by the center so that I can hover it with my reverse tweezers. Honestly, I don't even, I don't even think I need a ruler because I can really just sort of eyeball it from side to side. I'll bring this here and as long as that tree is straight, yeah, that looks great. And press. That is so fun. Oh, I love it. I was going to put some extra spatter on here, but I'm just going to let that, I'm going to let it speak for itself. And now we'll add these as well. There's also foam squares on this little banner greeting. I did not double up the cardstock on this. I probably could have, but I just thought we're going to let it, we're going to let it live as it is. But again, little dub will do ya. All right, did I get that off there? Yeah, okay. And here again, I'm just going to put this right in the center. I'm going to look at it from side to side. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and drop it and confirm the straightness. Yep, that looks straight like that. I think this is so cute. All right, I'm going to put something shiny on it to finish out the card. We'll do this little guy. Oh, come here, hanging on the edge. Boop. And that's where the boop comes from, by the way. Boop. It's just a habit. I don't know. You know, I just do things. Boop. Because life is short and fun is good. Boop. I hope these St. Paul Saints don't sue me because that is their tagline. Um, they're a minor league baseball team, but that's neither here nor there. And boop. And that, my friends is my finished card project for today. A very monochromatic, simply stamped. There's no techniques on here that are confusing and hard to do. You just stamp, die cut, and you have a fun holiday card. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you, so please hit that subscribe button. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you can. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you back here with another card project soon. To see more holiday card projects, including a card using the same stamps and dies, check out the two thumbnails I have linked below, and I'll see you in those videos.